Hello everyone! I made it out prospecting yesterday. Yes, early, early February, middle of winter, and I made it out to the Fraser River and did some panning. Uh, Mike, Pete and I got out there, spent a day. Uh, it was beautiful weather, although the wind was howling. I didn't take any video of us out there, or much video, because the wind was really just howling out there. It would have been a terrible video, too much uh, sound from the wind howling through the microphone. You don't get to see that trip really. But we found lots of gold and uh, when I'm out in the field like that I usually don't refine the gold too much. Once I see it in my pan I sort of suck it all up with all the black sands and then just bring it home and refine it at home. But I thought I'd make a video today and show you how I can refine those black sands using a magnet. I don't always recommend using a magnet to refine black sands because you can lose a lot of gold that way. But I thought I'd show you a technique where it's a little less likely of losing gold. How you can do it properly and uh, save all your gold. So I've got it all set up over at the kitchen table. Just going to set up a tripod and let you guys see the process of using a magnet to remove black sands. So I've got the cons here from yesterday's trip. There's maybe about a cup of black sand and there's gold throughout all of the black sand there. And uh, for this process to use a magnet to pull off the black sands, I want to have three different containers. The one container to hold the original cons, another container full of water to clean the black sand, and then somewhere just to dump it afterwards. Now to clean black sand like this, you either want the black sand 100% dry and powdery or completely wet, like underwater completely wet. You don't want just damp sand because as you pick it up, you will pull all the gold with it. And you don't want, uh, you want to make sure that it is underwater, that you have excess water here. Now the first thing I would suggest you do is just to take that and like you were panning it, just shake it so all the gold sort of sinks down into the black sands as much as possible, leaving just a layer of black on top. And for our first little pass, we're going to put the magnet down into the water and keeping it as far away from the black sand as possible, but still close enough to suck up some, wave it over top. And you'll see that it's pulled a bunch of black sand with it. We are then going to go into the other clean bin here and drop that black sand through the water. We can then wave the magnet in the water again, but wave it over top and pick up some of the black sand. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but I see gold in there. I see gold that was trapped in that black sand as I was picking it up that got captured up in the magnetic sands and um, just got trapped and pulled with the magnet. And that's why you can lose gold. Because if you just grab it and get rid of the black sands, any of that gold that got captured and trapped in there, you'll lose. Now I've picked up the black sands again, I'm going to dump them again. And I'm going to dump them sort of from a height so they fall through the water and then wave the magnet over top again, picking them up again. Any gold that may have got caught the second time which should be left behind. I see one flake. And then in another spot, not right on top of my gold, drop it again and pick it up again. Do this three or four times, dropping and picking up. And any gold that was trapped in those black sands should be left behind. At this point, we can get rid of that black sand. I'm going to go in here one more time, a little closer this time, and pick up 
any black sands that magnetic sands that I may have missed the first time drop it again pick it up again and then get rid of the black sand then I'm just going to take anything that wasn't magnetic that's left in my cleaning pan here and just push it off to the side just with some a jet of water from a sucker bottle push it off there for later so it's not going to interfere with the next one and again shake it a little bit get the gold sinking down wave your magnet over top grab some of those black sands drop it down through the water wave over top and pick some up oh I see a couple pieces of gold that got caught that time again drop it pick it up drop it pick it up drop it pick it up that should be pretty clean black sand get rid of that and then go to a little closer to catch anything I may have missed that first time over wasn't very much this time and get rid of it push the gold over to the edge and let's go again Starting to see gold in there. Ooh, I picked up a lot of gold that time. Lots of it. Let's see if I can get the camera in there to show you how much gold I picked up with the magnet. All that gold, that was all trapped in the black sands that magnet picked up the first time. Dreadful. I'm going to take my jet of water right now. I'm going to push all of that to the side. I'm pushing a lot of magnetic sands over there right now, but that's okay. I'll clean those up another time. And now I can take my black sand that's still attached to my magnet from earlier, drop it, pick it up, drop it, pick it up. One more time, I should be good. And I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but there's a whole bunch of gold still that was caught even the second and third time in there. But this should be pretty clean. I'll check it afterwards and see how well I did. And I should have shaken it. I didn't shake it, but picking up a bit more black sand here. And do it again. That big chunk I got. here are starting to get fairly clean of black sand or magnetic black sand so I'm going to spread them out bring the magnet in a lot closer this time a lot closer means I'll grab more gold oh there's not much in there not much left oops better jet all that over to the edge area for cleaning this up and drop it through pick it up drop it and pick it up I didn't see any gold in that one we're pretty good 
Now, one of those times that I jetted this stuff over, I left a lot of magnetics there. So I'm going to go pick up any magnetics that I jetted over that time. Clean them up one more time. sands. That's all the hematite that is not magnetic. So those are unmagnetic black sands. But I have a lot of the magnetic black sand over here. This should be almost all magnetic black sand. Almost nothing should be in there in the way of gold or the non-magnetics. Now the rest of this stuff, I clean up like I normally would clean up. showing how I can use my little backwash method to pull the black sands off that. Let's get uh, this refined nicely to one spot and then take a good picture of it so you can see gold because everyone likes to see gold. Well everyone, that was just a quick little video on how to use a magnet to remove black sands from your cons. As I said before, I don't always recommend it, but if you are careful and methodical and take your time, you can do it without losing too much gold. You may notice at the end of my videos a link to a Patreon page. I've just launched a campaign to try to fund my video making through Patreon. If you'd like to help me create these videos well into the future, please click on the link, go to the Patreon page and subscribe. Donate or pledge to me and help me create these videos well into the future. If you do subscribe, thank you very much. If you don't, thanks for watching my videos. It is spring. 
I'll be out prospecting a lot more really soon with a lot more videos. Please, click on that link right there. It will help me create these videos for a long time to come. Until my next video, bye.